Walking into this house, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these guys are bachelors. Because you know the dining room, the living room, everything is coin op, it's boxes, it's stacked up, and Jack and Jack Jr. are kind of just living in the collection. I used to have a couple arcades around 1980, right? When people were getting interested more in video games and I thought, well, this wouldn't be a bad idea. So I started looking for a location and I found a place. So I had it probably for about five years. Then it started kind of petering out. That's when he started making all the home versions for everything. Okay, so that's back in like pinball wizard days and oh, stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, from uh, probably 80 to 85. Yeah. yeah. What was the yeah. name of yours? Pinball Jacks. Pinball, pinball Jacks. Jacks. Yeah. yeah. I still got guys calling me that. Really? Yeah. So were you playing at him then, if you grew up around I was, that stuff? I was, I was born right when he owned them. So yeah, I've been playing this stuff since I was a little kid. Yeah. Danny right. said you were selling stuff with him at the shows and everything. Oh yeah, we've been pretty much together since the start. So. That's awesome. Wow. So when you guys would set up at the shows together, were you selling contemporary, you know, pinball? Uh, or did you have to go back? Signs. Go to the beer shows. Well, you're in the right. Them. You're in the right city, man. In yeah. Milwaukee, yeah. there's a bar on every corner. Every, yeah. What's going on with the spaceship here, man? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the Burgey beer. Uh, the Burgey beer sign. I bought that just because I know there's very few of them made. I thought it was really, a really cool beer sign. Yeah, it spins. You plug it in, and spins oh, around. Oh, it actually it works. Spins. They only made a handful of those in the 50s. This is obviously a piece that was made by Paul Stanley, and it is the coolest thing in the room. Because he made this, he made the hams, I think. Paul Stanley made the kind of displays that have been sought after by collectors for years. Burgey beer was brewed by yes, Pabst Blue Ribbon Company. It'd be neat to see this thing, if it, what works on it, what here, doesn't. Here's the plug right here, Mike. Yeah. That's the plug for it. None of Paul Stanley's stuff was ever mass produced. There's probably only a handful of these known to exist. There you go, that's there it Yeah, see, it's rubbing a little, but it was called Burgermeister is what the real name was, and then they started calling Burgey Beer for short. And they just, they made some of those displays to help sell their beer in the liquor stores. Go ahead and unplug it, Robbie. I think what happened was this spun and that spun as well. Yeah. So you had this going on. That one on. probably went one way, yeah. this one went the other way. Absolutely. What do you value this at? Would you be interested in selling that? The only thing I can tell you is I got one guy that I could make a phone call, he'd give me seven grand for it. Seven grand? Yeah. Really? We all need a guy like that. He's got a store in Iowa. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Online, you can see these have sold at auction anywhere from three to four thousand. Uh huh. Yeah. So, what's your bottom on it today? If we're today, we're here. Today, we're here. Yeah. Buying it. Seventy-five. <laughs> hey, you Give me a break. I don't know. What do, what do you got in mind? I think my top dollar's got to be fifty-five hundred. Um. I'll tell you what. I'll go to six since you're here. You take it, it's gone. It's worth more. I appreciate you coming down on the number. Yeah. But I feel better at 57.50. Split it with me. You're gonna split it. Yeah, I want you to split it with me. <laughs> um, 57.50. All right, you're right. <laughs> this, Woo! Is, this is a done Dang, thing. Wow. Jack and Jack, we done got deal. it. I love spending time with guys that are passionate about what they do and have been in the business as long as Jack has. I'll get the big one. All right, you got the big one? Yeah, thanks, there man. Jack Blatz. Jack, it's been a hell of a day. Thank it was you. fun, man. It was All fun. Right. Jack's been living the American dream and he's not doing it on his own. He's doing it with his son. You know what Yeah, that old saying. good home deal. I know. I love spending time with you, my friend. Yeah. How cool is it to do something that you truly love and have your son right by your side? See ya. See you, Jack. Thank you. See ya. Thanks. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.